Hi guys and welcome to the second tutorial of how to uh, navigate your Drupal website. Again, this tutorial is for beginners, so I'm going to go a little slower than I normally would uh, just to make sure that everybody understands, okay? All right, so today I'm going to show you how you can actually create buttons uh, in your navigation menu for Drupal, all right? So the first thing you need to do is log into your administrator account. Okay, so let's uh Let's log in. Nine times out of ten, your username is going to be admin. Type in your password. Click on login. Again, Firefox is prompting me. If it wants to save my password, I do not want to save the password at this moment in time. All right, so let's click on administer. And it's loading, it's loading, it's loaded. All right, so you're here Okay, at the uh, administration section. All right, so what we want to click on right now is blocks. Okay, remember in my previous tutorial, I kind of showed you what blocks do and how it actually works. All right, what I'm going to show you now is, you can see the uh, different areas here, right? The menu bar is currently empty, and this is where we want the buttons to be, all right? So the menus or the menu buttons are known as primary links all right so under the drop down menu click on none and then click on menu all right so you can see here under menu primary links is here save the blocks and that's done all right so if we click on administer you can see there's no navigation menu just yet uh don't worry uh it is there however there are no buttons in the menu and that's why it's not appearing just yet okay so what we need to do now is we need to create the buttons all right how you create them is under menus click on that then under primary links remember we put primary links under the menu bar all right you can see here there are no buttons all right so to add a button click on add item okay now we come to the first option which is path now, what does path mean? Path is basically when somebody clicks on the button, where does that person go? So you can lead that person to a page in your website. You can lead uh, the, uh, the person that clicked on your button to another website, or you can lead that person to your landing page or your front page. Now, what a front page is, is basically a page where your main URL is located. For example, if your website's URL name is redpacket.com, it will take you to the first page, which will be redpacket.com. If it's, for example, in my case, the netjedi.com, it'll take me to the netjedi.com. It won't take me to a sub page, for example, the netjedi.com backslash profile or backslash contact. So if you have the main page backslash something else that is not the main page that is known as a sub page all right so we want this button to lead to the front page okay how are we going to do that we could type in the url which is http colon backslash backslash the net jedi.com in my case or what you can do is you can just type in front all right okay menu link title what is going to be displayed on the button when it is clicked? As in, what is the text that's going to be displayed on the button? Okay, so this is cap sensitive. If you type home like this in small caps, it'll appear in small caps on the button, which won't look very nice. So let's type in big caps, all right? Description. When somebody hovers over the button, is there a description on the button? So if there is no description, uh, that's fine because home pretty much speaks for itself. It leads you back to the home page. However, there are some buttons that might require a description. For example, if you were to create a button that's known as maybe, I don't know, cars. So if you type cars into a button, uh, it might need a, a little further explanation. Um, what about the cars? So it could be uh, cars that I like or cars that I own or cars that have sexy girls leaning on them. So you could put the description here of where exactly this button will take you okay so that's further information on that okay enabled enabled means 
that the button is visible okay so uh, if you want your button to be showed on the menu bar make sure this is checked expanded what this means is is this one button by itself or is it one button leading to many other buttons is it a, a button leading to a drop down menu for example okay so in this case it's just one button by itself so we are not going to click this parent item is primary links and then we've come to wait. Okay, if you read here, it says heavier items will sink and the lighter items will be positioned nearer the top. All right, now this is clearer if the menu bar was vertical. Okay, for example, if it was vertical this way, this would make a little more sense as in heavier items will be at the bottom and lighter items will be on the top. In this case though, the menu bar is horizontal. If it's horizontal, lighter items will be on the left and heavier items will be on the right. And you can set the uh, weight of the item here. Now this can be a little confusing, so if you don't understand it, that's fine. I'm going to show you an easier way to arrange your buttons that's a little more visual and perhaps a little easier to understand later on, alright? So let's click on save right now. And there you go, you've created your first button, you hover over it, it changes color, alright? So this is enabled, and this is not expanded, and you have your first button. So if you click on home, for example, it takes you to the front page, which is, in my case, the netjedi.com. Okay, so let's click on administer again, and let's create another button that's under menus, and then primary links, and then click on add item. All right. Now we want this button to lead to a sub page and let's just take the example that I gave just now, right? So HTTP colon backslash backslash the net uh, Jedi dot com backslash cars. Okay, so this will take me to a sub page which is cars. Okay, now what is the title of this button? What is the text that's going to be displayed on the button? Let's type in cars. Okay, so this might need a description because what exactly about cars am I placing on that page? Is it sports cars, red cars, cars that I like, for example? So I'm going to put here cars with sexy girls leaning on them because those are the best kind of cars, right? Okay, under enabled, we want it to be visible, so click the checkbox. Expanded, we don't want it to be expanded, it's just one button by itself. Parent item, primary links. Wait, we're gonna disregard that, and we're gonna click on save. All right, so now you've created a second button, and when you hover over the button, cars with sexy girls leaning on them comes out. So that is a description of the button, all right? Now, normally, home comes first, okay? So home will be the furthest left most of the time, all right? So if you want to rearrange your buttons, what you can do is click on home, drag it to the top, save configuration, and there you go. It has moved to the left. So this is how you move buttons around on your Drupal menu. And you can create all kinds of buttons here and just rearrange them any way you want, all right? In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create content and link them to these buttons. Hope you had fun with this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave me a message. And until next time, take care.